Module 10 Fujiwara Secular Arts 897 to 1185 AD. I, Dr. Rita Pratap, former head of the Department of Drawing and Painting, University of Rajasthan, Jaipur. Fujiwara Secular Arts 897 to 1185 AD. In this secular arts, although Heian courtiers enjoyed Chinese poetry and painting, indigenous production even when in the Chinese manner increasingly showed Japanese qualities. In 894, as the much admired Chinese Tang dynasty was disintegrating, and voyages to China were fraught with danger. The Japanese court decided to stop diplomatic missions altogether. This isolation served to trigger on unparalleled outpouring of Japanese splendors. Like its Chinese counterpart, Northern Shung, 690 to 1000, 126, this late Heian or Fujiwara period dated to 897 to 1185 was one of the introspection and self-discovery. Both cultures were settling down after the ebullient and extrovert phase of Tang and Nara. During those cosmopolitan centuries, both China and Japan had been flushed with the power of newly consolidated realms. Japan had assimilated a host of spiritual and visual stimuli which had swept from Central Asia, India and Sasani in Persia. In the 10th and 11th centuries, however, both Shung and Heian cultures turned inward. Political unassertiveness enabled them to discover their aesthetic identity and release the unfolding of their greatest artistic glory. Shung China produced landscape painting and the Heian court Yamatoi. At this time, Japan's own calligraphic form, kana writing, also reached its zenith. And the profound differences between the two cultures became manifest. In Japan, many aesthetic preferences which were to become hallmarks of Japanese art now found full expression. Curiously enough, however, the subdued color tone, the use of bird's eye perspective and the frequent stress of the diagonal have all been traced back to Sung sources. The growing apart of the two cultures can be seen in a comparison of painting techniques. In Northern Shung, the flat colorist tradition was replaced by a liner modeling technique called Kunfa, where depth and texture are defined in brush strokes rather than shading. This eventually gave way to an ink monochrome landscape tradition, which were enthusiastically adopted by scholars and court painters alike, spawning a host of contending schools. In Japan, however, the poetic colorist tongue style was retained and its emotive potential was developed so far that eventually Yamatoi painting had little in common with either its Chinese contemporary style or its tongue sources. To begin with the study of secular art of the Fujiwara period with a religious work, only two examples remain 
of the style of secular and aristocratic court painting in the period. Scrolls of Lotus Sutra, the Hoke Kyo were offered by the Taira family in the 12th century to the Shinto shrine at Itsu Kushima, south of Hiroshima as an act of piety and devotion. These scrolls are kept in a box adorned on the outside with traditional Nara style dragons in gilt bronze on a ground of dark brown lacquer. Box of Sutra offered by the Taira clan. It is a dark brown lacquer with gilt bronze fittings. Itsu Kushima Shrine, Hiroshima, Japan, belonging to late Hinyan period, dated to 12th century. In the 29 scrolls inside, the text section are simply written in columns of gold and silver character, but the end papers, the first 8 or 10 inches of each scroll are decorated with scenes of religious matter. In a scroll, prayer offering, ink and color on paper, Itsu Kushima Shrine, Hiroshima, Japan and belonging to late Hinyan period dated to 1164 CE. An aerial view of a house with the roof removed a pictorial convention allowing the viewer to look inside shows a monk sitting next to a woman with a court noble behind them at his writing desk holding a scroll golden rays come from the left the direction of the western paradise of Amida Buddha the priest in the middle ground hidden in part behind the rolling hill is praying with his head turned towards the rays the landscape in the Itsu Kushima Sutras are derived from tongue type landscapes but have become distinctively Japanese. Hills and rocks have a gentle rolling rhythm. Trees branch gracefully. All elements in the picture are treated in subtly decorative fashion. The culmination of Japanization may be seen in 1053 Bioden Phoenix Hall murals. Yamatoe landscape painting were greatly influenced by the highly developed Japanese literature of the time, that is, poems on the four seasons, on famous scenic spots, on mono no aware or the pathos, literally the ahaness of things. Departing from Chinese notions of spring, for example, indigenous new poems replace the snow prunes with cherry blossoms, majestic mountains with cozy paddy feeds. The world of Japanese imagery shimmered with wisteria. The seashore, spring rains, spring moon and spring mists in poetry and painting alike. An example is the early spring landscape on a dope panel of the Phoenix Hall Biodin dated to 1053 shows a gentle river scene combining lushness and a sense of intimacy typical of Japanese landscapes with favorite details, the Mandarin River, the sand shoal with its few reeds remaining from last year still covered in snow. 
the pine clad hills and the thatched roofs of the cottages the colors are applied in flat layers with volume suggested by discrete intensification of the greens and whites the only sense of motion is provided by the rippling lines of the river bend the later predilection for laterally speaking motifs is hinted at here in the fan shaped silhouettes of the pines the simplicity of the scene belies the sophistication of its rendering it is evocative and poetic perhaps it depicts one of the famous places so often mentioned in hian literature for instance the free floating cloud forms where the pigment is sprinkled on rather than brushed the clouds seem to breathe and so seem charged with motion and emotion in the otherwise still space they function as emotional indicators henceforth providing this quickening and poignancy this unique motif is the emotive cloud the hian artist may have chosen the scene and this way of depicting it in order to express the first quivering of new year's joy he may even have been inspired by a poem in the contemporary anthology gosen shu 591 ad mizu no omoni the breezes of spring aya fuki midaru are blowing the ripples astray haru kazia along the water ike no korivo today they will surely melt kyo wato kura mu the sheet of ice on the pond kino tomonori translation donald kini the hian preoccupation with minutely identified emotion found expression in poetry which led to painting diaries letters screens and narrative hand scrolls even in gardens of the period both real and those shown in screen paintings plants shrubs streams and stones were deliberately arranged to evoke specific emotions or to recreate famous places which had poetic associations a unique feature is the cloud form island covered with white and which appears in pond gardens and garden manuals of the time the free form emotive cloud kumo gata seen perhaps as a reflection of the sky evoked in sprinkled pigment on paper a subtle confirmation of the indefinable the transient and the moving in hian art nature motifs functioned to express human emotions not only did hian architecture encourage maximum integration of interior space with garden but the sliding door panels shoji which often surrounded three sides of a room were themselves adorned with evocative landscapes but the dichotomy between the public and private sense persisted official public architecture was termed hair it had tiled roofs slated floors and red lacquered pillars in the chinese manner the emperor's private residence however was emphatically 
in the domestic mode termed ki with thatched roof wooden floors and pristine unpainted pillars in the first crawl of band dinagon e kotaba var fujiwara no yoshifusa is shown advising the emperor the double standard is apparent in the outer vestibule the mural is in the public chinese style while murals in yamato style decorate his private rooms the ban dai nagon e kotaba the children's quarrel is a hand scroll second of the three scrolls ink and colors on paper dated to 12th century in general art for public places and ceremonial events used chinese motifs in the palace the screen of sages shows chinese sages and the lake kunming screen has chinese references because they were associated with the pomp of the tang court or as much admired confucian tradition chinese style paintings carried great prestige in time such paintings came to be called kara a or chinese theme painting in contrast to yamato or japanese theme painting the culmination of japanization may be seen in 1053 biodin phonics hall murals one of the gems of japanese architecture the phonics hall miraculously survived the devastation of the civil wars which played havoc with other buildings of the temple area from the central sanctuary housing a large gilded wooden statue of amida two story two story galleries extend on either side projecting behind the central sanctuary is yet a third gallery purely decorative elements determine a layout intricate but always symmetrical which recalls the figure of a phoenix with wings and tail on the topmost ridge of the main roof moreover two bronze phoenixes dominate the whole structure whose graceful lines are reflected in the waters of a pool the interior of the central building is entirely decorated with paintings on the panels of the five doors and on the walls figure nine versions of the descent of amida raigo corresponding to the nine degrees of salvation to which the dead may accede depending on their good or bad behavior best preserved are the scenes on the two side doors and those on the two doors on either side of the facade these paintings show the style of this golden age as most authentic an example is of the divine procession on the south door instead of the hieratic representation of deities in the esoteric paintings devoid of any indication of space or time amida surrounded by music making bodhisattvas here approaches the dying believer hovering over a landscape typical of the kyoto region though the gilded body majestically descending towards us his robe is also decorated with kirkane and the gilding of the aureole is like a symbol of light emanating from the great savaya he is accompanied by a stately procession of bodhisattvas with canon presenting the lotus seat 
for the dead man's soul and say she in the pose of an orant both advance to the foreground thus forming a triad with the central divinity descent of amida with divine attendants raigo tirupich of three hanging scroll dated to early 12th century painting on silk 18 temples of yushi hachiman ko koya sen wakayama seated in attitudes of devout prayer the five bodhisattvas flanking amida three of them dressed as monks are well in keeping with the solemn composer of the god himself behind and to either side of the central group celestial musicians grace the procession and announce the advent of salvation to the believer the brilliant colors of the bodhisattvas costumes and panel is damaged and the colors have faded we can still appreciate then supple line work suggesting the rhythmic movements of the divine procession a recent restoration brought to light beneath the wooden frame the unexposed borders of the paintings which had preserved the original colors in all their pristine freshness thus give us some idea of the sterling beauty of the work when first produced 900 years ago the bodies of the gods were painted bright yellow the deft outlines which have now blackened were originally red their robes and floating scarves were purple orange blue and light green descent of amida with divine attendants raigo detail of south door of the phoenix hall ho ho do dated to 1053 painting on a wooden panel biodo in yuji near kyoto on the airol there still remains a decoration of floral arabesque cut out in gold leaf a technique which the japanese called kirkane which the descent of amida at ho do is treated objectively like a scene taking place before our eyes that of the large hokeji terpich at nara is composed in such a way so as to convey the impression that as they descend towards us this imposing company of gods is coming to save our own soul in the central stall seated in front view on a red lotus flower amida gazes directly into the spectator's eye amida on a cloud central part of the terpich composed of three hanging scrolls dated to first half of the 11th century color in silk hokeji nara in this well balanced almost symmetrical composition only the white clouds surmounted by the deity serve to indicate the motion of amida colors are simple and the red robe is undecorated except for the inconspicuous pattern of swastikas drawn in dark red all these elements together lend the god a majestic dignity and bring to mind the more traditional style of the 9th and 10th centuries the two scrolls to the right and left of the central deity represent a youth carrying the celestial banner and two bodhisattvas canon avlokiteshwara and sheshi mahastham prapata 
they were apparently added afterwards to give the dying man the impression of actual being received by the great Savaya. Another important relic of Amida art is the large composition preserved in the monastery on Mount Koya. Originally executed on Mount He, birthplace of the cult of Amida, it was transferred in 1571 to the center of Shingon to safeguard it during the civil war. At the very heart of the composition appears the great figure of Amida with gilded body, the musical instruments above all, the bright purple and dark blue contrasting with the gilding of the Buddha add a facilitous touch to the composition. Now light brown, the clouds must originally have been colored mauve to imitate the violet cloud mentioned in the sutras. The 33 deities form a harmonious whole and infuse a dramatic element into the scene of salvation. The procession passes over a lake beside a mountain in autumn represented on the lower left. This landscape is not unlike the view of Lake Biva from the top of Mount Hei. The artist working in this mountain monastery no doubt took inspiration from the clouds drifting over the lake, tinged with the golden haze and mellowing colors of the setting sun. An old tradition attributes this picture to the monk Genshin, who spread the cult of Amida in Japan. But the style and technique, above all the over sharp outlines in red and the emphasis laid on colors, point rather to date subsequent to that of the Phoenix Hall paintings 1053 perhaps of the early 12th century.